It's been five months since the worst building disaster in South Africa. Safer's story of being rescued from beneath the thousands of tons of steel and concrete is one that gripped the country. As a way of dealing with the trauma, he's written a book. The Marshall Bay father says it was his family that gave him hope and courage during his ordeal. The book for me is some kind of therapy also. It also, it also helps me bring out um, the things I I'm inside of me that I can't really uh, express, that I can't really uh, talk about. The book is about a, a lot of different elements. Like It's not only about me surviving, about me loving. It's also about uh, what it did to my family while I was under um, trap, under the rubble. For, like for myself, it's a, it's, it's, it's a way of healing also. It's a way of therapy also. It's a way of getting my story out to the world so that people can uh, understand what I went through, what my family went through, and what every um, other uh, survivor and a victim went through in that building collapse. Supporting Safers was another survivor who was rescued three hours after the collapse. The two have remained good friends and have bonded together over the tragedy. Yes, I'm, really, I'm, really, I'm very grateful uh, for him, you see, um, because we, we all have a story to tell, you see, all of us. But I'm just grateful for him who stepped out of his, 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 his comfort zone and decided to tell his story. Safers was joined by family and friends from his community who supported him through his ordeal. Yes, it's brave for him and to, to tell the other world what happened to him and we can learn about that. I think for him it must be a privilege to share his story because it happened in South Africa. Make history with that thing that it happened to him. And I think from the, for, for the grace of God, he could through, come through in life again. It's an opportunity um, that arose, um, although there was a tragedy, an opportunity arose out of that and he grabbed that. And for that I've got respect. And um, my wish is that he will inspire people, that it, uh, it's a message of hope and that others can learn from him. From him. Several independent probes have been launched into the disaster with no conclusion as yet. Segri Chetty, SABC News, Mossel Bay in the Western Cape.